From a zero to a hero, slay, slay all day long. Slay. Let's start with my eyebrows. I'm going to be using foolproof brow. I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm going to go in with that lighter color. This is number five. And then outline my brows. I still want that defined brow, but I want it to be softer because I'm gonna be focusing on face. Lining the bottom and then just wiggling the brush up. Now I'm going in with the corner with a darker color with an angular brush. I like to brush my hair up so I can see what's missing underneath and outline that as well. It's been a while since I've used powders and I actually really like it because I have really long brow hairs. I'm kind of vibing with this brow though. I'm gonna use Frankie Rose Concealer in Neutral to clean the brow. Cut that bitch like I did my friend last night. So for the eyes, I went for more of a natural natural look. Just the soft smoky and just serving highlight face and the bold red lips just a very classic hollywood look i'm going to use the minimalist palette by lc it's probably one of my favorite palettes because it just has all the colors that you would need and i love traveling with it and the pigment is great so i'm going to start with i wish i could just be normal for a second i'm gonna go with this color a fluffy morphe e27 brush and i'm just gonna work this into the crease just to warm up the crease and give it some depth. Yeah. Just to give it some depth. And then we're going to layer the colors on top. Next, what I'm going to do is go in with this color right here. More of that burnt orange. And I'm just blending in circular motions upward. Because I ain't looking for no saggy eyes, girl. I'm trying to lift them eyes. You know what? I feel like cheating. I feel like a motherfucker needs to cheat today. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like, you know, sometimes in life, I've said this before, I will say it again, cheat. If you have the opportunity to excel in life by cheating, fuck it. Cheat. Just kidding. Don't cheat on your spouse. Don't cheat on tests. Cheat death if you're going to cheat. And cheat the eyeliner trick like this and now I can't see a damn thing okay I look so crazy I look so crazy so now that I look crazy I'm gonna go in with this brown color and a pencil brush from Morphe E18 E18 and I'm going to deposit this color on the corners just to give it that extra poppity poppity pop and then i'm going to go back in with a blending brush and just blend it all out i'm going to go in with my melt stack which is my favorite is the color rot and then i'm going to go back with that flat brush i'm going to take this on my lash line just a soft little line just a soft little line, little line. so now i'm going to go back in with that pencil brush and just smudge it out and make it messy just like my life <laughs> oh she is so cute she is a beauty queen okay now I'm gonna move to the face some dirty for Sally oil. We're gonna put a little bit of a gold because she's a star. Mm -hmm. Yes, she sure is, honey. And then we're gonna put it in the hair. Just hug it. Using a beauty blender, the most massive beauty blender of life. It's orange. It's kind of like a first impression because I've never used this. It's pretty orange. I look like a sick, sick patient. Okay. Clearly not my color, but it's all good. 
I'm a professional, damn it. I am a professional. Hmm. So I'm using the color Mocha by Fenty and using my Luxie 504 brush. I'm just gonna pat this on my face. I live to be bronze. I literally, like, I think bronzing is probably my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan Central Enhancer and Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm using the color six in um, Kevin Aquan because I want that full, full coverage, honey. I'm using Medium Neutral and Urban Decay. I like to bring this right up to the bridge of my nose to do a little bit of reverse contouring. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm going in with the Rose Gold from Cover Effect. I'm gonna hit this face. Tonight, I am a star. I mean, every day, but you know, today. I'm gonna go in with a brush and a little bit right here, a little bit right here. Just because when you move that head, see that? See that little, little, just a little bit on one side because I don't want to look sweaty. I want to look dewy. And I'm gonna go back in with that massive beauty blender and just blend everything in. Bitch bottom dollar dot tomorrow will be sun. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. I think I can make it an American Beauty star. American Beauty star. I want that. American Idol. <laughs> I'm mixing the Ben Nye banana and neutral and making this face. And going in and setting that. I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star MAC powder and my Luxie 518 and just kind of set the rest of my face. I don't really bake my face because my face is dry. So right now I don't wanna bake it because I still have a few thousand layers left to put on my face. She yo! Sometimes I wonder how could someone be this beautiful, you know? But only after I put my makeup on. <laughs> Just kidding. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Words don't bring me down. My favorite, Give Me Sun and NW45. Mix these two up. I am using a Morphe E53 brush. Pat it in and blend it up. Because I want to deposit that color and even though I set my face, I'm still careful because I didn't fully set it, so I don't want to move any creams underneath. I'm blending that into my hairline. You just layer that bronzer, honey. If anyone tells you that you have too much bronzer, you don't need that negative in your life. Cut a bitch, okay? Oh, girl! I mean, this face is fucking snatched, honey. Tea. Honey, this face is motherfucking snatched. This bitch is snatched for the go. I'm gonna go in with the same Give Me Sun, and I love this brush. This is a MAC tiny little 197-ish brush, and I'm gonna warm up where I would normally contour my nose. I wanna warm it up a little bit before I go in and contour because I want everything to be seamless and blended in. And one nose job coming right up. Mm -hmm. And then cut it. You need to cut it. For my glow, I like to layer just like I like to layer everything else on my face. I'm gonna go in with Warm Soul from Sorme, and this is my holy grail. Gold deposit has always been a staple, just like Give Me Sun. So I'm gonna mix these two, mix both, layer that on my face to warm it up. See that beauty? It's like a very natural, pretty glow. So it's very seamless and very pretty, and then BAM! You give them the highlight. And then I, of course, always bring it down. My absolute favorite brush. This is a Sephora brand, and I love this brush for blending my nose or putting powder underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with some powder and do a little reverse contouring. Going in with C30 and my Sephora brush, and I'm going to put this right under my eyes just to brighten my eyes a little more. Now for the very important and crucial part of my face. I will not do makeup without this. You 
Drip, drop, drip, drop, drippity, drop, a drip, a drop. For my highlight, I'm going in with the Gold Sands Edition from Huda Beauty, and I'm gonna hit Tahiti and Seashells. And there's just a little bit of Zanzibar, cause why not? Going in with Tarte, people are just moving trash like it's nothing, like I am filming. For under my eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the same palette, recreate what I did on top. So I'm gonna go in with that brown shade and go close to the lash line to smoke it out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a dome pencil brush, mix these two colors and hit the under. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Heartbreaker, the lip contour and the liquid lipstick and slay the Sonia Signature. So I like to overdraw, but I only like to overdraw my Cupid's bow. And I go in with a little X right above my Cupid's bow. Then going in with Heartbreaker. She's a heartbreaker. Yeah. And this is the final slay. Slay. Slay all day long. Slay. I know you guys have seen this look before. But it's my signature look, and this is what I wore for red carpet last night, so I just wanted to recreate it. Now I'm going to go fix this, and then I'll be back.